The famous painter I chose is Mary Cassatt, and the painting I chose was Summertime. Here's a picture of Summertime, and she created that painting in 1894. This is a second variation of Mary Cassatt's painting. Um, from what I could tell, this is a complete separate painting, but it's of the same thing, and she titled it the same thing also. Mary Cassatt was born on May 22, 1844, in Pennsylvania. Um, she also attended a fine arts program in Pennsylvania, and then from there she went on to study in other countries such as Europe, Italy, and Paris. Her family originally did not support her decision to be an artist, so she was on her own quite a bit of the time. She met Edgar de Haas in Paris and became interested with the Impressionist technique. Um, however, she never wanted to be considered an impression Impressionist and preferred the name Independent. She was always well known for her mother-daughter paintings, but this did not really start until after her sister Lydia passed away. She exhibited artwork with the Impressionists until about 1882, and then she began her work with the Japanese prints. Eventually, she did become blind in about 1921 due to cataracts. They attempted multiple surgeries, but they were all unsuccessful, and she passed away in 1925 in France. Um, this is a video I found that, has, that deals with the Impressionist techniques, and I found it interesting since most of her paintings were Impressionisms. Mary Cassatt um, painted the, her painting Summertime in Paris at her home. It is also thought that a small pond on her land inspired this painting. Um, it is an oil on canvas painting that uses vibrant hues of blue, greens, reds, and oranges. 
here's a larger picture of the painting that helps see the details a little bit better. Um, there's open horizontal lines throughout the water in the background that suggest stability. She uses both primary and secondary colors, um, the blues in the water, the greens in the grass, and the red on the hat. And there's also different values of the blues and greens throughout the water and the grass in the background. I see a smooth texture with the soft brush strokes. And I feel like the eye is drawn more towards the middle where the, the woman is leaning over the boat looking at the ducks. And then there's also more detailed ripples in the water towards the bottom there drawing attention. The large boat um, with the women and then the ducks I feel like are bigger proportion but it all comes together with the spacing of the ducks in the water. Um, the trees in the background, I feel like um, as far as perspective, you can tell they're distant due to them being up higher and also smaller than objects in the rest of the painting. This is my work cited. Um, this first one is an ebook that I found from the Shake Library. The next one is my video clip, and I found that from the Shake Library. Mary Cassaw also has a webpage dedicated to her. And I found um, the paint pictures of the paintings and then a little bit of the analysis of her painting there. This one is also an article I found from the Shake Resource Library, which is actually where I got most of my information from. And then this bottom one is an analysis of the painting that I found on the web. And that's the conclusion of my presentation.